The Winnipeg Blue Bombers and Toronto Argonauts square up Sunday for the 109th CFL Grey Cup. I've got a Grey Cup ring during my time up in the CFL with the Montreal Alouettes, so I'm always going to show that league some love. I've got my guy, M Milt Stiegel, former Blue Bomber wide receiver and CFL legend. He's also a CFL and TSN analyst. He joins us now live from Regina, Saskatchewan. A lot of people in America don't know where that's at, but Regina is actually a good time. I, I loved it. Hey, Milt, thanks for joining us. Let's get right into this because Winnipeg, your Blue Bombers, they're on the verge of three mm. great cups in a row that hasn't been done since 1982. What are the keys to the game for the Blue Bombers to pull off a three-peat? Well, first of all, they have to hope that their uh, MOP quarterback, uh, Zach Kolaris, is healthy. He hadn't practiced all week. He sustained a, a high ankle uh, injury uh, in their last game, the Western final. So if he can't go or if he's limited, uh, it's going to be difficult for them to three-peat. So that is the main uh, ingredient for them to have an opportunity to win this game. They have other great pieces around it, but he needs to be as healthy as possible for them to win this game. All right, we'll talk about Kalaros a little bit later in terms of his legacy. I remember when he was with Hamilton, he knocked me out of the playoffs twice. You know, I've, I've let that. I've, I'm cool. Let bygones be bygones. But let's go to the Argos because they're the underdogs in this. They're led by their defense. How do they go in and pull off the upset? Well, they they have to slow down Winnipeg's running game. We talk about how Zach is the most important piece, but Winnipeg, uh, their bread and butter is their running game. They have the a great offensive line, the top offensive lineman in the CFL, and Stanley Bryant, a good young uh, Canadian running back, Brady Oliveira, who's done a great job for filling in. For uh, Andrew Harris, he's over 1,000 yards. So they have to slow down that running game and make Winnipeg one-dimensional as far as throwing the ball. They I, can do that, and they have a great opportunity of winning this game. I need Andrew Harris's workout program because the dude does not stop. He's still going. I wake up, my knees still hurt. This dude's still running all over uh, teams in the CFL. But let's go back to Kalaros. He was uh, named the most outstanding player for the second season in a row that hasn't been done since uh, uh, Anthony Calvillo, my guy with the Alouettes. Right, he's right, battling that right. ankle injury, like you said, but if he says he's going to play. If he goes out there and he wins this game, where does that put him legacy-wise in CFL history? With, with, with the greatest quarterback who's ever stepped on the CFL field, with, the, with your own teammate, Anthony Calvillo, with the, maybe the greatest player in CFL history, Doug Flutie, uh, Warren Moon, uh, Henry Burris, all those greats. You have to put him in that category. He's in that conversation. He, conversation. he just won his second MOP in a row. And if he can three-peat as the starting quarterback for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, he will be considered, in my opinion, and I would expect everyone else's opinion, as the, one of the greatest quarterbacks in CFL history. Wow. Man, congrats to Zach on that one. Good luck to him. And Ryan Dinwiddie was the head coach. Uh, for the Argonauts was my offensive coordinator one year in the Mon uh, with Montreal as well. I mean, the league's growing. A lot of people are excited about watching it down here. And, and to all the American uh, fans who watch the CFL, you can watch the 109th Grey Cup between the Bombers and Argonauts Sunday at 630 yeah. Eastern on ESPN2. Milt, thanks for joining us. And I thank you for being a big bro while I, uh, during my time when I was up there in the CFL, man. Hey, thank you for shedding light on the CFL, man, and love what you're doing, man, and expecting big things for you. Put on your glasses, baby, because your future is bright, man. Love you. <laughs> Where are my glasses at? <laughs>